Hello YouTube and welcome to episode one of Ascending Atalanta. We have started a new series which is going to be replacing the Marseille career. Just for a bit of an update on Marseille, we have gone and won the league in the next season which is a bit frustrating. But anyway, we got the job done and we are here ready to go. So we did have our episode for Benfica. Uh, ready to go, but we haven't actually streamed that at all, so I'm not going to touch Benfica. This is going to be purely a YouTube-only series, so I can play away from stream, get it uploaded when I've got some free time. So as you can see, though, we have started the season already, and there's obviously someone here who we've brought from Marseille with us, which is Dane Scarlett. So I can't click on him. There we go. So we've brought in Dane Scarlett. He's 16 years old. He's sitting in our under-18s at the moment. And he's played two games, one off the bench, and scored three goals for the under 18. So he is doing quite well. So you can see this is the team we used in the last game. But as you can also see, we do have Sevilla here. So let's go look at the schedule. And this has been the season so far. So we beat Palmer in the first game of the season 2 0 with two quick goals. I've sort of been changing the system a little bit. So we went 4 2 3 1 for most of preseason. Realized I didn't really have the winger depth to play 4 2 3 1. So I went 5 3 2. And now I've gone to a 5 2 1 2 used to change it up a little bit so we got rid of a DM and made him into a cam so we beat Palmer we beat Bologna 2-0 we then unfortunately drew with uh, Cagliari which is a bit frustrating and then we just went and lost 1-0 to Napoli in our Champions League group we were ranked third Sevilla were ranked first Man City were ranked second we were third and Rennes were fourth and in today's episode you are going to see us take on Sevilla who are in the Champions League and Sassuolo who are actually first in Serie A, so I almost said League 1 there, uh, but here we go, we're sitting 6th at the moment, but 7 points, it's not too bad, we can deal with it to be perfectly honest, so PSG get a late equaliser there, and I just wish we had the winger depth, but unfortunately we don't, we do have a lot of sort of central midfielders and a few left sided midfielders, so those guys can all sort of play through the middle. So this is the system at the moment. It's a 5-2-1-2. We did use it at Marseille. We've got Romero set up as a stopper to kind of step into the midfield there. But we've gone and brought Papetti in. I should actually show you the transfers that has happened this season. So let's go by date. So we've brought in Eric Garcia on loan. We've brought in Papetti, Dane Scarlett, Wilfred Nyoto, Max Norman Williamson, who hasn't actually played a game for us yet because when he came in, he got injured. But he does look very, very solid. And even though he's got one and a half star current ability, he's definitely good enough to play for us at the moment. We've got Unai Gomez with us as well, who is hopefully is going to bring some value. And then we've got Jamie Byrne uh, Gittens here as well. Uh, hasn't, has he played at all? I think he's with our under 18s. He's played one game for the 18s. We paid 21 mil for him. He's meant to be an absolute beast. I did try to loan him out, but I don't think we could really get him. I wouldn't let me loan him out. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to find a way to try and play him in this team. He's going to have to play up front as an advanced forward. And his stats as an advanced forward isn't too bad. We'll probably just use him off the bench because he's got that five stamina. I don't know if that's a locked in stat or not so let me know uh, in the comments I think I've got him training as a striker at the moment yeah so what we'll do is probably bring him off the bench a lot this season just to get him some game time we've gone and got Christian so Romero's on loan as a centre back I did not know that is there a option to buy optional future fee of 14 mil so if Romero goes nuts for us we could bring him in full time he's got 2,000 days left so he would count as a non-European player but that's fine Good months. And so these are the signings that happened before we got here. I didn't realize Pasalic was from Chelsea. Fair enough. He's actually a pretty good player for us. 25 years old, good age. And then on this side, I don't think we really sold much. Um, what did we sell here? So we sold uh, Castagna. We didn't sell him. I would have loved him. Diallo, I would have loved him. Malinowski, I sold because I needed money. Uh, 27 years old. We didn't get quite the value because it's all it was. Alejandro Gomez, I wish we didn't have to sell him. Um, it wasn't my choice. Obviously, he went in real life. Delisandro, I didn't sell. Panada, I sold. And the rest of it is just people that I sold for obviously not a lot. And then lots of loans because we are in Italy and that tends to happen Quiz and door. I didn't sell this guy. Yeah, I remember putting that picture in for him. Apparently, he's been really good. So let's get a scout on him, and we might be able to bring him back at some point. I don't think we've got a buyback option. But anyway, here we go. Now I'm starting to waffle. Everyone else here can't really get into the team. 
Where is our boy who has five stamina? Let's get him into our squad before we do anything. He must be in the under 20s. Where is he? He's in the under 18s, maybe. There he is. Let's move development, move to senior squad. He's unavailable for the 18s. That's fine. And we'll get him with us in the next game, hopefully. So let's go. He's there. He's got five-star potential. We're just going to have to give him game time, I think. Him up front with Zapata, Muriel in that rotation, I think he's going to be fine. So here we go. Bit of waffling out the way. Let's get straight into it. Let me know in the comments what you think we should do tactics-wise. Um, obviously, we've gone through the first transfer window already. So we don't have heaps of money, but I'm happy with where the team's at at the moment. It's a solid squad. We just had a little bump in this at Syria, but I think we should be good enough to overcome it, to be perfectly honest. So Sevilla lining up in a 4-3-3. Papu Gomez is versing us, and for those that have been watching the FIFA content, we have gone and got Papu Gomez into our ultimate team for foot champions. So if you do want to catch any FIFA live as well as foot, uh, foot champions, and as well as FM, I should be saying, make sure you come over to Twitch at poorly29. It should be on your screen. Actually, it won't be on your screen because we're using the um, overlay for the stream. So we've got our YouTube links here. We've got our Twitch links. And we've got the podcast link on the screen for you as well because Damien and I do have a podcast, which is the PD Sports Podcast. So make sure you listen to it wherever you get your podcasts as we manage to deal with that ball. But Sevilla are giving us some trouble. So here comes Duvan Zapata. Good ball across to Muriel. And Muriel does put it wide, which is a little bit frustrating. I want to encourage the boys here, though, because it's been an okay start. We haven't had heaps of the ball, but it doesn't bother me too much. This system doesn't tend to have lots of the ball. This system tends to rely on winning it high-ish up the field um, and then going forward. It's had a ball. does put that wide, unfortunately, but that's the way we want to play. So it's Jordan finding Jesus Navas, Suso Jordan, Acampos, who was offside. So Frulo is definitely struggling, and so is Ilicic. So they're definitely going to come off probably early in the second half because being season one, it means we get the extra rotation. So Goosens finds Suso Ilicic, and here we go. We've got to try to find something. I'm still torn. He's offside. I'm still torn whether we take this Shadow Striker out and keep a DM in the midfield. I'm not quite sure which way I want to roll yet, whether it's with the Shadow Striker or, or without. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. But this has been an interesting half so far. I feel like Sevilla's been the better side, but we've looked dangerous on the counter attack as well. But we can't really deal with that ball. Suso goes all the way to Acuna, all the way back to Suso. This is happening really quick. As we do, I feel like we defend this pretty well, but then they're just going to get something at the back post or something as it's a compost. It's still not dealt with far out. And then we finally get rid of the ball. And it's half time. So I'm going to make two changes at half time. I'm going to take Ilicic off for Pasalic. And then I'm going to take you off for Mirenchuk. Or Kovalenko. We'll go Mirenchuk. There we go. Double change at half time. I'm pleased. Keep it up. Obviously, playing away from home, it's not the end of the world. As well, we might actually we're going to drop back into the other setup. I think is that one, and Pasalic is going to go there. I think Darun's good enough to play. Yep, in that DM role. I'm going to go with a false nine on Muriel, so we can at least drop into this space, and we'll go from there. I think. I think I should stick with the two strikers and the DM. I think that, and then keep the other system up our sleeve if we're chasing a game. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to probably play this system with the anchor man and the three at the back, and we'll go from there. So let's see how we go. Madanchuk, Pasalic. I think it just helps our build-up play a lot more, having the anchor man just sitting in front of the defense. And that's a goal for Alejandro Gomez against his former team, which was a bit lucky. We'll give him that, but it wasn't... They didn't break us down. It was just a deflection. But here we go. The boys seem up and about. We've got the options here. Muriel flick on. I want to see how Severe respond to scoring. It's Pasalic. It's Darun. Can we find the ball out wide? It's Goosens. Oh, he's hit the bar and it's Muriel. What has gone on there? I can't wait to see what's gone here. So what's Goosens done here? So let's ignore that so we can see what happened. I think he's put a cross in and he's overhit it. So he's definitely put a cross in. That's not a shot. He's hit the bar with the cross and it's fallen to Muriel who has put it in. So there we go. That's what we want to see. Darun out only as far as Acuna, Rakitic, Gomez. This is a very good severe side as well. So they were obviously won the Europa League uh, the season 
uh, last season. So that's why they were seeded number one. It's a Cunha ball in a compost. And they've gone and made it 2-1 straight away, which is a bit frustrating. And I think it's time for Hatterbor to make way. And we're going to make one more change. It might be Darun's time. We don't really have another DM, though. That's my issue here at the moment. We've got Alexi. Pasalic can probably go drop down into that role. And then we'll bring on Kovalenko in that advanced playmaker role. And keep one more sub up our sleeve. It's Muriel. But unfortunately, can't find an option. Let's encourage. Let's go attacking. Let's see if we can grab a second. We'll probably take Zapata off next to try and get a late equalizer in this game. We're starting to have a bit more possession here. Really starting to wrestle that back. Time to bring Zapata off. We've got Lammers on the bench. And that's who we're going to have to go with, I think. So let's give him a team talk. Have faith. Can we go and get a result here? It's not ideal. I'm not sure if this is going to be the system long term. I'm tempted to maybe play like a diamond 4-1-2-1-2 as well. So let me know what you think um, to get the extra mid. We do have a lot of quality midfielders. So I think we might need to try and utilize those central midfielders a bit more than we are currently. So I might try and build a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow for us to use because I think that will definitely still allow us to utilize our fullbacks but will allow us to get the extra number in midfield to try and control games of football. So I've got to try and find maybe a, a tactic online to base off of because I haven't really had a lot of success with the narrow, or even if it's a 4-3-1-2, I haven't had all that much success with it this season. So we go 3-1 down, which is a bit disappointing. So can we just get this game over and done with? It looks like Renz are only losing 2-0 to Man City. Can we claw a goal back? We might be able to get one late, and I think it might be time to shift into a diamond. 4 on 2 on 2 which I think will suit this team quite well. And that is where you're going to see us, which is going to be against Sassuolo. Oopsie days, I clicked the wrong one. And we are going to go and take on Sassuolo in the, well, in a minute, I should say, because we're about to get there right now. Welcome back, YouTube. We are here ready to go against Sassuolo. Obviously, nothing has really happened in the meantime between the games. So it's only been a couple of days. The team is ready to go. This is the system that I have settled on. So we've got the two fullbacks on support, the two Mazalas looking to try and get wide with the deep line playmaker there to help out defensively with the fullbacks looking to bomb on when they can. We've got Ilicic, Muriel, and Zapata up front, which is pretty solid. We've got our boy here, Jamie, ready to go up front as the advanced forward if needed as well. The only thing he's lacking is sort of passing work rate, his anticipation. He is young. He is fighting to go. We've got Nyoto as well. He's going to wear number 39 is the young man. So you never know. If we're winning, we might just bring him on anyway to give him game time. If we're losing, we'll bring Wilfred on probably but let's go we're probably the better side on paper here against Sassuolo and we probably need to let that happen so let's see what we can do we need a better performance than we got against Sevilla and I'm looking to see us control the game a bit more with this setup so the Mazalas should be working pretty hard to try and support the fullbacks moving forward I haven't got any set pieces set up as well so that's one thing I want to look at. It's Muriel and it's 1 0. And Hatterboard does find Louis Muriel. So Consigli with an interesting ball out. As Palmer go 1 0 up against Juve as well. Hatterboard just goes bang straight to Muriel. Muriel one touch and slots at home. So that's what we want to see from Louis and Muriel to get us the advantage against Sassolo. Can we just put them away early? I'm going to. I was going to praise the boys. I'm going to hold off here. Because Locatelli makes it one all. Time to encourage the boys. 22 minutes in from the corner, which is a bit disappointing. We've got Eric Garcia and Papetti, which is a new centre-back partnership for us uh, in this game. And so with that goal, Sassolo do jump above us, which is a bit frustrating. They've had four shots, two on target to our one and one. So it's an interesting start so far. It's Lopez again. We deal with it this time. It's Bogo who's driving, finding Marlon into Lopez. And we've managed to get away with not conceding there, which I thought we may have, which would have been quite frustrating. So can we try and just develop something? I'm going to demand more from the boys. See, they don't really respond well to it. And it is half time. So 
I'm happy with the performance. This is a bit frustrating. I thought we would be a bit more competitive uh, with this side because on paper it is a very good team, but it's not quite playing the way I want it to as of yet. So let's see what we can do. Can we find just some general patterns of play that are going to help us out? We are in extended highlights, and I feel like we're not seeing a whole lot from the team. I'm ready to change the midfield up because we've got the depth there. It's Frula, Papetti hasn't really got anywhere to go. This is interesting from Sassolo. They've defended that really well. We try to go back the same way. We find Zapata needs to bury that. That's good football from us. That's really good football, but we do need to find a goal there. There's another corner. And Ilicic again, it's Papetti, and it's gone out of play. So let's see this highlight, and then I'm going to make changes based on the outcome here. It's Goosens driving. Needs to just get a good ball in. Does find Zapata and only as far as Consigli. We're going to change the two central midfielders. We're going to get Piscina in one role, and we're going to get... Who do we want in the other role? I don't, can't quite see who else we've got on the bench. That good. Is he any good as a Mazala on support? He does look pretty good, I'm not going to lie. So we'll go with Alexi in the other role. Where's Alexi? Matachuk. And we're going to say, I have faith, go out and get the result for us. That's our first two changes of the game. Can we get a goal? It's Mirachuk, decent ball in, but now it's a counter-attack from Domenico Berardi, straight at Sportiello, and we managed to deal with it. Going to encourage the boys here. We need to try and find something. It might be time for Muriel to come off. It's Ilicic, good ball in towards Muriel, and he can't capitalise, and we get an injury. Potential knee, what are they saying about his knee issue? What do they say? They're not saying anything, so I'm assuming it's okay. We just get, we're going to leave him out there. I don't want to waste another sub on a guy that's just come on, and it's a good save. And it's going to be Muriel that's going to come off for Nyoto. Again, we're going to say, I have faith in you to go make the difference. Can we help if I click on the right monitor? There we go. We've got time. We've still got two subs up our sleeve. We deal with the corner. It's Bogger straight at Sporty Yellow. Can we find something? Probably going to be Ilicic's time to come off and maybe Frula as well. Time to demand more. Ilicic, time to come off. For Lammers, I think, is the right call. And then we're going to make one more change in probably Frula or Zapata. We might actually change Zapata. We're going to give Jamie a go. Here we go. I want to see good performances from the boys. Let's go. Can Jamie be the difference? If the 16-year-old can come in and score the winner for us, then it looks like it's a masterstroke as Caputo does put it over the bar. And it's Marichuk straight at Consigli. We can't really afford a draw here. We do need to try and push for a win. The boys have played pretty well. They just haven't created enough in this setup. It's Lopez driving. Got to win this ball. Juricic, Locatelli, Sporty Yellow again with a big save, but he was offside. Papetti... Garcia playing quite dangerously, I'm not going to lie. Lopez, Domenico Berardi, ball in, dealt with. Can we find something? It's had a ball. The young strikers, can they link up? Gidiacopoulos finding somebody, and it was a good tackle, but they've given the corner away. Here we go. Lopez, ball in, Locatelli over the bar. Time to encourage the boys. Can we get them up and about? Berardi dealt with. Locatelli, Gidiacopoulos. We're defending for our lives here. They're swinging the ball side to side. Jamie's through. They couldn't find him. Here we go to Wilfred. Had a ball. Ball in. Can't find anybody. It's just madness at the moment. Couldn't find Yotto. It's counter-attack. It's Jamie who finds Wilfred and he's offside though. Jamie, that was a big, big chance as Had a ball. Puts it out for a throw in. It's full time. It's one all. I feel like we played all right in that game. We just didn't put enough of our shots on target. But I felt like we played okay. We'll take that. Not the results we wanted. We're sitting sixth. We're a few points off, but it's definitely gettable. But if you've enjoyed this episode of Ascending Atalanta, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you let me know in the Discord what you think of the series and give me your thoughts and views. Make sure you go and listen to the podcast weekly on Monday nights as well. And I'll see you in the next one.